Good evening to you all. We heartily welcome you all on behalf of the Vivekananda Study Circle to this special talk on the topic Swami Vivekananda and Intuitive Scientist. We thank all those who are present now for their kind cooperation and willingness to take out their time to attend this lecture. Now let us start this program with an invocation for which I call upon Pranav, Rahul and Ganesh and I request you all to kindly rise from your seats. Sahanavabhatu, Sahanobhunatu, Sahabiryam karvavahe, Tejasvinavaditamastu, Mavidvishavahe. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, Asatoma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya, Mrityor Maham Radam Gamaya Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashita Dukkha Bhavavi Om Shanti 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 We are glad to welcome and introduce our speaker of today's lecture, Professor T.G.K. Murthy, who has come all the way from Hyderabad to be with us this evening. I gratefully welcome you, sir, to this gathering and request you to offer flowers to the portrait of Swami Vivekananda and kindly take up your seat on the dais. Science is nothing but the finding of unity. As soon as science would reach perfect unity, it would stop from further progress because it had reached the goal. Thus chemistry could not progress further when it would discover one element out of which all other could be made. Physics would stop when it would be able to fulfill its services in discovering one energy of which all others are but manifestations. All science is bound to come to this conclusion in the long run. Manifestation and not creation is a word of science today. And the Indian is only glad that what he has been cherishing in his bosom for ages is going to be taught in more forcible language and with further light from the latest conclusions of scientific revelations. Thus asserts the prodigious in scientific insights of Swami Vivekananda in this quote. In this lecture, our guest speaker, Professor T.G.K. Murthy, will seek to uncover the other dimension of this great spiritual giant. Dr. Murthy finished his college education by securing gold medal both at graduate and postgraduate levels. After a brief stint as a research scholar, he joined the then Space Science and Technology Center of ISRO in 1969 and initiated the electro-optical activities and also went on to become its director. Dr. Murthy has done extensive research activities in areas of thin film, optical technologies, and electro-optical instrumentation, and has published a number of research papers in international journals, some of which were adjudged as the best in the literature. He developed a number of novel electro-optical systems, having applications in diverse disciplines such as agriculture, geology, defense, and space sciences, and has been honored with many significant awards and accolades. He is fellow Academy of Sciences and is deeply interested in science and philosophy. He is keenly interested in spreading the Indian science and spirituality to, 
to among younger generation. Being rarely inspired by the scientific thoughts and ideals of Vivekananda, he has written a book titled Swami Vivekananda, an Intuitive Scientist, which is a topic of today's special lecture. Now, sir, I request you to address us all with your enlightening talk. Revered Atma Sraddhanji Maharaj, my beloved intellectual cream of India. Of course, this is a common word probably here from many of the people, but I speak from my heart. But more than that, you are all the people inspired by Swamiji, or otherwise you would not have been here. So, my dear friends, I am extremely happy to stand in front of you to share some of the thoughts, feelings of the Swamiji, his contributions to the science, and my own personal things that what I got benefited through the Swamiji's, these are all some of the things I would like to share with you. Before doing that, I thank the Vivekananda Study Circle for giving me the opportunity or a platform to share some of my feelings. I came to know about this one. Of course, few years back, three years back, I was in fact invited to come over here, but unfortunately I could not make on that particular day. But I was looking forward for a day. Now the time has come with the blessings of the Holy Trinity, with the love of all of you. Today the topic, as already said, Swam Vekanda, intuitive scientist. Probably I will dwell on the three words, Swam Vekanda, intuition, science, and whether these things are they relevant is there any connectivity for these things? And before I do that one, let me share with you wholeheartedly, the motivation for me is that I see very crystal clear, very crystal clear, so I'm awake on the, is a scientist for me. No doubt about it, probably I will try to put the way I see him. That is number one. And number two, recently, in the <coughs> Indian Fellow Academy of Sciences, there was a huge discussion saying that the question is how to bring the creativity among the youngsters in India, how the creativity can be brought, what are the ways and means, the methodologies. That is the one more <clears throat> very interesting phenomena that what has happened. And in that one, what they said, they ultimately spot and leave the person. What they mean is that spot the talent and leave the person. Of course, all of you belong to that particular category, but over and above that one, I just wanted to add, what is that that makes you much more creative than already of the creativeness that what you have within you. So this is the main thing. So, and this is also a celebration for me especially. Swamiji's 150th anniversary celebration just started. And just a momentum has come. And now up to 13, they will be going on. So if at all, something that is there, only the earth that what rings is nothing but Swamiji. What, when we close the eyes, nothing but Swamiji, it comes. These are all the things. Some of these feelings, emotional, sentimental, of what you call, I would like to share in the next 45 minutes. <laughs> 